How did that feel to have someone in your um, court? Oh my gosh, I was just like, thank you, Lord. Siempre para progresar es mejor tener más manos para que te puedan soportar. America has always been associated with making it, but is this opportunity accessible to all? I'm Scott Shigeoka, GoDaddy's entrepreneur in residence, and I'm on a journey across the country meeting the people who are building it. They're defying the odds, and their stories show us what it means to be made in America. The first step can be the scariest and the hardest step for a lot of people. I know it was for me, but if we take that leap of faith and we actually step in to making our businesses come to life, there is so much that can happen for us. That's what I'm really excited about is both Consuelo, Sequoia are taking their ideas and they are putting it into action and they are nervous. It can be scary to step into the role of being a boss and growing your company. It can be scary to pivot your business and go mobile with a store that had always been brick and mortar. We are gonna check in on Sequoia because she has been doing a lot of work getting her truck ready. We'll go to Memphis Pride and open up the doors of the truck so that she can see what this looks like to bring her shop on the road. Uh, Hi. Oh my gosh, how's it going? I'm very nervous, but also excited at the same time. What are you feeling nervous about? Making sure I got everything, making sure I checked everything off, making sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, it's going to be such a great time. Yes. Woo! Sequoia is fierce. She has grit. I feel like a big man. And she finds a way through her own resourcefulness to make things happen. This is the official launch today of that So You Boutique. I'm actually really impressed that she's stepping into a new space. Pride, it's an event she's ever been to. And I think that's what we have to do as entrepreneurs. We need to step out of our comfort zones with an open mind. We are going to 2019 Memphis Pride. And I have until 10 o'clock to set up, so I'm super excited, so let's go! But so you got the flag? I got the flag, yes. We had talked about putting the Pride flag up on her truck when she brings her boutique to Memphis Pride, showing the community that she is open, inclusive, and excited to be there. And if we're all doing that, if we're all stepping into new environments, meeting new kinds of people, we're gonna weave together the social fabric that we need as a community. Hey! hey. How's it going? <laughs> Long time no see. Nice to see you, Joey. Nice good to see you. Guess what? I um, have a very good news. Yeah. Yes, we already have the website. Yeah. And I have three new customers and one new worker. Dang, yeah. okay. She was at a point when we last saw her where she wanted to build a stronger client base so that she could start building her business, bringing on more employees and moving from cleaning into supervising and managing the people you work with and the business you run. Some of my employers don't drive and I have to go and pick it up and take it to the jobs, but I encourage them to, to drive. It's important for them and for their families too. Driving gives uh, people independence. Oh yes, yes. Now you're moving into becoming an employer. You have these amazing employees that are working alongside of you. What are you doing here with Maria? Maria, she used to uh, have three days with us. I'm supervising her and tell her how she can do it. As soon as she get it, I can let it here to work by herself. I love this purple, by the way. Oh, this thank you. Nice. Thank you. Is there significance around purple, and is there something about the shirt? We wore uh, the purple color because uh, this means to me uh, stop the domestic violence. Oh, beautiful. So it's like you're, it's like a way for you to not just show up and, and, and look unified as a company, but it's also for you to have a message. And I think those are details that a lot of business owners might not think about, you know? But it's actually really important. I hope I can do more that provide work for them. I hope I can provide something that help them inside. It's uh, what I told one of the ladies I help me in cleaning. If I did it with three kids by myself, 
with no money, no house, no husband, heartbroken, life broken. And uh, I was thinking that I'm not good for nothing. You can do it too. I think everybody can do a business if it they want. Ahorita, eh, pues estoy sirviendo a una persona, pero si en un futuro me gustaría tomar el ejemplo de ella para poder yo también tener mi propia empresa y poder crecer también como ella lo está haciendo. I think that also changes the way customers might feel about your business yeah. by sharing that on your website, showing the cleaners who are a part of this business how to build business skills, how to become entrepreneurs, how to take control of their own lives. I mean, for me, as a customer, I would be more interested in working with an organization like that. She's a go-getter. Coming from a storefront to a boutique on Wills is very exciting. I'm just very grateful to be in her life right now. Carl, you have to help me. Put the tent up. Oh my gosh, have there been complications? Yes, it's hot. I was unorganized with staff. Getting loaded up, trying to get parked. We couldn't find our slot. Our tent broke. Yeah, we forgot the tent cover, and it's in the garage, on the steps, to the left in the corner over there. It's a blue one. Thank you, Carrington, love you. We had a very tough time with the tent. I thought that was gonna be like the end, no. <laughs> but anytime you're in business, everything is not gonna be ironed down, it's not gonna be laid out in variables. But we just gotta go over the obstacles and make things happen, and that's what we do with the team effort. How are you I'm doing? I'm so excited. <laughs> I am too. It's my first event. How are you feeling? Usually businesses, when they're struggling, they think the fix is a little more money. And part of our process for anyone that approaches us for a loan is really to really try to understand their business model. I'm trained as an attorney, so I tend to problem solve and ask a lot of questions anyway. And I love the challenge of trying to find these solutions for these small businesses. It takes a village sometimes. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? So we're gonna take a look at your website. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. love it. Me too. This is great. Yeah. So how many clients do you have now? Five commercial ones and ten residentials. That's phenomenal. And yes. then one employee that you just hired. Yeah, hire, yes. That's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yes. It's really cool to see your ideas from last time actually mm -hmm. become a real, you know, become reality. Like, what do you think about your mom's journey building her business and trying to grow it? It's been a great uh, transformation for her to change and, you know, take care of those kids too, along with it. That's beautiful. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Comencé yo este negocio fue por crear una economía mejor en casa, por poder sostener mi casa y ahora me doy cuenta que el haber iniciado el negocio me está dando más para mis hijos que eso porque les estoy enseñando con el ejemplo que una mejor vida se puede tener con un negocio propio y ellos están comenzando a tener mejor visión de sus propias vidas. Y eso es un progreso para ellos, es un progreso para el país, es un progreso para toda la gente. Having an entrepreneur as a parent is really, really big because you get to see what commitment looks like, you get to see what consistency looks like, and most of all, you get to see resiliency. Being knocked down but getting back up, that really is the internal strength of any entrepreneur. I want to have the kids established in their own house. So she is renting this home that we're in right now, and because of the success of her business, she is now two months away 
from actually buying this house, from owning this house. I mean, that's a huge deal because that was the whole purpose of this journey, was to create more stability, more security for herself and her family. I think that's such a milestone for Consuelo. Did we make sales today? We did have sales today. We didn't do what we projected, but it was sales. At least That's we had good. Sales. We yes. had a start. Yes. No, they really look cute on you. Interacting with people, showing her love, showing her ability to communicate, and just her joy within herself. It's exciting for me to watch. So this is the first event, so we're not all together, but yeah, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna show you our new website and how it looks when you go to it. This is the greatest food take ever. <laughs> That's all <how> you. <laughs> this is the website. So oh, clean and cute. Good. That's the mobile version. I mean, when I look at her fashion boutique, it screams Sequoia. When I saw her and I met her, I was like, yeah, this is you. This is you embodied in your business. And I think it's a reminder that when we go into making our own way, when we go into starting our own businesses, it doesn't have to feel like we're creating a new version of ourselves. No, we can just be ourselves. Well, I'm proud of my setup. I'm proud of my truck. I've learned how I can make the boutique better. I was like, yes, this is really happening. And I'm ready to do this again and again and again. Building a business doesn't happen in a day, and it requires continued perseverance and grit. And these are two qualities that Sequoia and Consuelo both have. A lot of folks are realizing that what is really important to them, like the new measure of success, is not defined by income. It's defined by time, flexibility, and choice of what you want to do when you want to do it. I think the American dream is really about this idea that you're able to access opportunity, you're able to take care of yourself and take care of your family financially. I and mean, that's what I think it's about providing resources to those who don't have the same access can actually combat some of these systems that are oppressing people, and I think that's really powerful. We should care that we have local entrepreneurs who look like us, live by us, that are helping to keep this entire economy moving forward. In this country, it gave me the opportunity to learn an office. Y me siento muy bien. Oh, me, me siento muy bien. Uh, me da sentimiento. Porque estoy, siempre he estado rodeado de, de muy buenas gentes. De este país que me han tendido la mano. I'll be right there beside her. Never behind her, never in front of her, but always beside her. You know, we can all seem so different as people, but there are these moments where we share so much. You know, at some point, you, you make these connections in life and people come in your life for a reason. And I think you need to use those resources. Made in America is about supporting each other. It's about persevering. It's about continuing even when your tent breaks. It's about giving your employees access to the transportation they need. It's about all of these things that Consuelo and Sequoia have done in the past two months. And I know there are so many more unique and inspiring stories out there. Tune in for the next series where I'm going to continue to go across the country meeting the people who are making moves against the status quo. And you know, every situation is different and it's nuanced and we have to do what we can to empower everyone because everyone deserves the right to make their own way.